All right, guys, this is Mithril back with another Fallout New Vegas unique item guide video. And today we are here at the Northern Passage because the weapon we are looking at does come from the Honest Hearts DLC. And that weapon is the Compliance Regulator. So right here in the top right corner will be a little card showing you in more depth of how to get the weapon. So if you want to do that, uh, yeah, click right there. But yes, we are looking at the Compliance Regulator. Now, as you guys can see, it is different from the regular laser pistol, and it fires blue lasers. I always love it when energy weapons have different colored beams. Okay, let's take a closer look at the weapon. So as you no doubt already noticed, it looks very different from the standard laser pistol. I do like this design better myself. What's that say? Caution, read instructions before operating. Sorry, there was no instruction manual. Yeah, I just like the look of this one better. All right, so let me read off the stats for you guys here. So you need a energy weapon skill of zero. You need a strength of one. Its damage per attack is eight. Its damage per projectile is eight. Its DPS is 30 and its DPS on reload is 21.8. Its critical damage is 12 and its crit multiplier is 1.5. Its attacks per second is 3.8 and to use this weapon in VATS, it's gonna cost you 15 AP. It shoots one projectile and its spread is 0.01. Its critical effect is paralysis for 10 seconds. The ammo type this weapon uses is energy cells. It is one ammo per shot. It is 30 shots to reload, and then it has a 30 ammo capacity. Its reload time is three seconds. It weighs three pounds. Its value is about 175 caps. Its HP is 200, and the perks that affect this weapon are laser commander, bloody mess, lore death, thought you died, fast shot, and rapid reload. So what Laser Commander does is it gives you plus 15% damage and 10% chance to critically hit with any laser weapon. And you can get this at level 22 as long as you have 90 in energy weapons. Bloody Mess, it gives you plus 5% damage with all weapons and enemies can explode upon death. Lower Death at rank 3 gives you an extra 4% damage to all enemies. Thought you died, you can get this from the Lonesome Road DLC. It gives you plus 10% damage, plus 10 HP for every hundred karma points. Your karma is reset to neutral and then you are immune to critical hits. Fast shot, its benefits are your fire rate increases by 20%, and then your AP costs are decreased by 20% for all firearms with energy weapons and guns. However, you get a penalty of your weapon spread increasing by 20%, and then your VAT's accuracy decreases by 20% with all energy weapons and guns. And then finally, there is rapid reload. You get this at level 2 as long as you have 30 guns and 5 agility, and it gives you 25% faster reload. So let's go take this weapon out and use it on some bad guys. Alright, so we are here at Quarry Junction, and I do have Demigod mode on if you don't know what Demigod mode is. I am basically still invincible, however I have to use ammo and reload. All my skills are at 100, all my special stats are at 10. And then this weapon has a multitude of ammo types. We will be checking all these out on the legendary death claw, but for now we will be using the normal energy cells on all the death claws here. So yeah, as you guys can see, this weapon is uh, not very strong. The main like reason you'd go for this weapon is for its paralysis effect. If you are running a crit build, this weapon can actually be pretty nice because let's say you get one crit and they go down for 10 seconds and then let's say before they get up, you get another crit, it stacks. So then you'd have 15 seconds, you get another crit, 25, another crit, 35 seconds. And then at that point, you could just pull out another weapon. I mean, look at that. You could just pull out another weapon and blast them to, uh, the rings, I guess. If I had another weapon, I don't think I do. Nope. I mean, look 
how useful this weapon is. But yeah, the damage on this weapon does suck. I will say that. This is really not a weapon you're going to go out and want to kill with. This is more of a supporting weapon than anything else. I think you guys got the point. So let's go test it out on the alpha male and then we'll go test it out on the mother and then we can test it out on the legendary death law. But yeah, crit build with this weapon, they're gonna be down for days. I think that's him right there. And then there is like a couple bugs, I think, with this weapon. I can't think of what it is, but I know. It's like if you have, um, what's that perk? It's like an energy weapon perk. And if you critically hit someone and it does like this blast effect. And if you get hit by the blast, it can like paralyze you too. Uh, why are you running away? Odd. regulator and I think like most enemies in the game are pretty much available to stun I can't think of an enemy off the top of my head that can resist it So we're just gonna console command that and then focus on the mother. like a good crowd control weapon and then if you are you know you have a group of guys I don't know let's say you have Lily and she goes in there with her sledgehammer and then you have Rex or Eddie going in there against one person oh man easy mode achieved because all you have to do is pretty much just get a crit and let them do all the work See, let's put this guy in one. 
Look at that. I can't can't do nothing. Then let's say, oh no, they start to get up. Just like this. And back to being paralyzed. Alright, so let's spawn in the legendary deathclaw. Player dot place. Oops, hold on. Place at me. FF. Where is he? I mean, look at this. Not even the legendary deathclaw is immune to stun. Well, I'm out of ammo. But yeah, you guys get the point. I mean, I will show off the other ammo because why not? I've done it for every other weapon. So I believe this is max charge. Yep. And while it may do a little bit more damage, the effect of the paralysis is still there. The best part is you can repair this weapon with laser pistols, meaning there's always going to be a good source to repair it. All right, now this is overcharged. Where the heck did you come from? I mean, just look at this. It's almost like a, another video has to be done on this weapon just to show how powerful it could really be. Now, I believe this is optimized. Yep. Well, you guys get the basic idea. I don't think I really have to go through the other ammo types because at this point it would just get repetitive. Okay, yeah, there you go, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video on the compliance regulator, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe because it will help on my channel and I will appreciate it like always and then I hope to see you guys next time.